Oh, good morning, everybody. Good morning. I'm Ridge Root. And I'm Shortcut. And we camped on a ridge. We took the shortcut to get to the top. And beautiful morning, quarter to six, which is about 4,300 feet. And beautiful morning. We're yeah. starting downhill. And then there's a big uphill. Maybe oh. 3,000 feet we've got to climb today. And then get to a get to a mountain hut where we'll spend the next two nights to wait out yet another storm. A hut day, showers, food, yeah, and rest. We just hope Hopefully we can pay. It'll be quiet. We hope we can pay because we're running short of BAM, Bosnian, Bosnian convertible marks. Sounds like it should be VCM. Anyway, BA is Bosnia Herzegovina, and M is marks. So, Bosnian marks. Okay, five minutes to go. six. We're at 4,200 feet and descending, which is a shame because we have to climb quite a bit later. Oh well. Just the road. Yeah, it's drier on the road. The vegetation's all wet. As roadworks go, this one's pretty nice. There's no traffic. It's early in the morning, of course. And beautiful scenery. Thank you for visiting the most beautiful villages of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Yes. Well, I don't know that I'd say they were that beautiful. We didn't go to Umoriani, though. No, we didn't. Schedule on the bus stop next time. Only local knowledge. Most beautiful villages. There's my shadow. Oh, restaurant. Student. Student of Hello. Yellow? Umoliani. Mm. Well, maybe we missed out on a good restaurant in Umoliani. <laughs> Lots of water flowing. Oh, that's a very deep gorge. These gorges in the limestone get cut really deep. We're back in the shade, thank goodness. It's still hot in the sun. Nice Just little stream. We're we'll climbing in the shade for a little bit at least. Know about this spring? Not on our map. I think we found the Maps. best way from the road up to this road that we're on. You can see our path beaten down through that long wet grass. And <coughs> Excuse me. It's kind of a no man's land between all this barbed wire fence stuff. But we're back on this minor road now. And good to go. The little town of Bobovica up on the hillside. That looks like a regular church, not a mosque. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's no it's very much an agrarian town. economy here. Beautiful morning. Building under construction. Don't know if they're currently working on it or not. The lines aren't very straight. <laughs> Phew, I think I could do better than that. <coughs> huh? Do you have water up here? Uh, I don't know, maybe. This building looks very utilitarian also. They ran out of grey bricks. Oh, they plastered over them and then they switched to the red bricks. Those red bricks are really hollow. Pretty fragile. Yeah, I'd want to get three hours. Well, yeah, Vita I know is one of the peaks that we're going to climb today. So, might take us more than three. We'll sheep. get there. After the pasture, it's breakfast time. Oh, they're coming this way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, where are those sheep going? They're following us. Probably moving faster too. Oh. Oh, it's really pleasant yeah, climb are. now. Up this hillside forest. Nicely shaded. It's only about eight in the morning. And we have one of 
a few flat spots here. <laughs> That's Hi. right, good pause. Alpine Meadow I have to cross. It's hot in the sun already. About 8.15 I think. 750 feet. Bumper feature cool way shade. down there. About to be obscured by Shorty's umbrella. <laughs> Bit hazy today. Must be that Saharan dust. Here comes Shorty. Not quite the top of the first peak. <coughs> to our first summit of the day. Malo Bordo, 1820 meters. 59.88 feet. <coughs> But look what we've got to do. <laughs> we have to traverse this spectacular ridge route. First up that next green hill and then off to the left, off to the left. Climb the highest peak I think is in the distance. So. And well, it's all in a day's work for over the hills. The sign says one hour to that highest peak. <laughs> probably so take us two. Hour. Plus we'll probably stop for tea. Oh, this is going to be an That's awesome ridge route. <laughs> yeah, look at the tree line. It's... Relico Bordeaux. Oh. 18, 84 meters. What's that? 61, 80 feet. Something like that. The highest Here, one so far? Yeah, this is higher than the last yeah. one. But Vital is higher. Hey, Where are you, Vit? Relico Bordeaux. Looking down, 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 down. It's a long way down. Oh, this is a very nice ridge route. Up around 6,000 feet. Nice cool breeze. It's wonderful. Well, this trail looks interesting to follow. Good thing it's not terribly windy. And there's Vito. King Vito. Uh, this, <clears throat> this is an absolutely spectacular bridge route. All the more enhanced by the humongous drop-offs. There's a plethora of wildflowers and butterflies. An exciting walking. <laughs> There's our objective. Looks like a steep little climb. Oh, this is so cool. Nice and cool. I love walking along knife edge ridges. This is like a real mountain. Some scrambling involved. Not just walking up the hill. Very cool. Oh, there's Lukomir, where we had a prolonged lunch yesterday, right in the middle there of the scene below that patch of trees. There's houses hung on the cliff edge. Oh, Look cool summit up. marker. Vito, 1960 meters, 6,430 feet. Yeah, Shorty, you did it. Yay. 6,430 feet. And what a cool summit marker. Oh, nice. I thought it was an antenna. Yeah, that's what I thought at first. No yeah. snow and ice now. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. Wow. Break time. Oh, the one's up here. <laughs> Two little kids. Oh, we've descended Vita and we're back on fairly level ground. And I think it's my Pivo and Siesta time, but we must still be at least an hour away from the lodge. Whew, getting warm though. Ooh, where are we going now? 
into this valley. Really nice wind, cold breeze blowing. Makes all the difference. There's a little bit of verdure in this intermittent spring. It's intermittently well, running. A bit today. of a drizzle. It's full, the trough's full, but I wouldn't want to take that. I'll take it out of the pipe. Take it out of the pipe. Shorty's sure doing it. How is it? Taking it out of the pipe. Mm. It's not a bad trickle. Clean. The pipe looks so clean. <laughs> it's a wonderful pipe. Mm. Good, yeah? Dobro voda. Dobro, dobro. Very cold. Well, just over half a mile to go now to the lodge <coughs> where we made a reservation for the next two nights because it's supposed to thunderstorm again tomorrow. Heavy rain. So, since we have a choice, we're going to wait it out. Easy hiking here in that regard. You don't have to hang out in your tent for a day. I do believe that building in the back with the green shutters Back far right is our lodging for the night, and two nights well, actually. Uh, Alpine hut. It's very like a European Alpine club hut that we used to. 15 euros per person per night for the zimmer, the bed, and they have dinner and breakfast. Whatever we like. We could go across the road, they got a restaurant over I there. I don't blame you. Oh, there's a cat. It's pouring down on me.